problems such as water and land scarcity. Applied in traditional farming, hydroponic farming has revolutionized the agricultural sector. The ability to grow crops using very little water and no soil sounds too good to be true. Hi, my name is Sriram Gopal. I'm the founder CEO of uh, Future Farms. So we are an um, agri-tech startup based out of uh, Chennai, India. Uh, and we focus on um, indoor vertical farming and hydroponics and controlled environment agriculture and we've been in this business for the last eight years we are one of the first few players to introduce this technology to india so it started off merely as a curiosity and as a pet project and eventually i started seeing the feedback from the market and i i kind of found that there is a gap to be filled in this market so that's how i moved my passion or hobby into a business uh, hydroponics is basically a, a science um, where we can grow plants and crops directly on water without any soil. So um, one of the uh, big advantages of hydroponics is that it saves about 90% water and because we don't depend on any soil, we can actually move into vertical farming. So, it's a, uh, so uh, this enables us to grow crops in the heart of the city, in parking lots and rooftops and in any underutilized urban uh, spaces as well. The, the world that we are living in is uh, changing rapidly and um, in a lot of ways we are seeing that uh, uh, the farmlands are shrinking, more people are moving towards uh, urban centers, more farmers are quitting uh, every day. The second generation or the next generation uh, of the farming community don't want to get into uh, farming. And on the other hand, uh, you know, there is uh, massive disruption due to climate change, global warming, um, depletion of water tables. Um, and parallelly, you are seeing that our population is only growing. So it is expected that we reach 10 billion people by 2050. So on one side, we need to produce 70% more food than we uh, produced earlier, with probably half of the land that was available to produce. So it is not the question of if, but it's only a question of when hydroponics will take over as one of the primary modes of uh, cultivation, uh, you know, uh, across the globe. Hydroponic farming has made the impossible possible. As the hydroponic farming methods require no soil, crops can be grown one above the other with custom pipes designed for the very purpose. We save close to 90% water. While this may sound simple, if I just put this in metrics, a one acre farm per day uses about a lakh liters of water. Um, and uh, uh, if you uh, kind of switch that farm into uh, a hydroponic farm, uh, it will use one by tenth of it. Just 10,000 liters of water can be used to irrigate the entire one acre. And moreover, that one acre farm in conventional sense, um, whatever we are producing, we can grow four times the crop uh, using uh, one by tenth of the water. So it's a significant saving of uh, water. Um, in hydroponics, you can have, uh, uh, you know, aeroponics, um, deep water culture, uh, then you have substrate culture, then you have uh, aquaponics. So these are all different uh, subsections of hydroponics, if anything, and uh, they have slight, um, for example, aquaponics is when we use fish as, uh, you know, in a symbiotic equation with plants, right? So we grow fish and uh, in water and we use that water where you have all the fish waste and you convert the fish waste into, uh, you know, fertilizer or nitrogen, which is needed for the plants. So it kind of creates a dual crop in the process. In aeroponics, you use fine mists using high-pressure uh, fogging system where you, um, you know, bombard the roots of the plant, which is suspended in air usually, with nano uh, particles of water molecules and air. So the nutrient absorption is much higher and you get much better uh, performance uh, out of this. The crops require way less water to grow than what conventional farming requires and produce higher yields that last longer. So, um, so we, we cannot, uh, you know, look at hydroponic uh, and agriculture as two dif different or separate things, right? So, in fact, hydroponics is something that falls into the ambit of agriculture. In fact, you take agriculture, in agriculture you look at controlled environment agriculture. In controlled environment agriculture, a small component is uh, hydroponics. So, they are not uh, different aspects, they are uh, merely uh, another tool that is used or another technology that is used for um, agriculture. Hydroponics is uh, merely a technology, so uh, you can deploy it in a small, uh, uh, you know, balcony uh, for a hobby or, uh, you know, for growing your kitchen garden and all those kind of uh, reasons. Uh, or you can actually uh, uh, grow this in a multi-acre scale. 
um, so uh, typically uh, if you take uh, Netherlands or if you take uh, parts of Europe or uh, even China uh, a typical hydroponic commercial farm would be uh, you know to the extent of 100 acres under glass house or uh, greenhouses so you can see the scale at which these technologies can be deployed crops are safe from soil borne diseases and fungal diseases as no soil is involved in the process a few of the plants suitable for greenhouse hydroponic farming are tomatoes cherry tomatoes potatoes cabbage lettuce mint basil green beans and a lot more using hydroponics we can actually grow in theory any kind of plant so any plant requires uh, a conditioned water which has all the required nutrients the dissolved oxygen as well as the uh, the ph the alkalinity or acidity as long as we are um, you know uh, maintaining these parameters you can pretty much grow any crop uh, using hydroponics hydroponically grown plants are the most kept in greenhouses where the temperature is constantly monitored the plants supplied with mixed nutrients at regular intervals so um, what we see behind me is basically a, a a farm inside a shipping container so we call this an indoor vertical farm so this comes uh, this is slightly beyond hydroponics right this comes under controlled environment agriculture so uh, what we do here is uh, we are actually trying to uh, mimic the entire uh, um, you know um, environment uh, so we are playing god in in some sense right so we are simulating sunlight we are simulating the microclimate for these plants now um, one may ask why is this relevant or necessary when we have so much sun um, so like we all agree that one size doesn't fit all there are not all places that enjoy 300 days of sun like uh, india even in india there are parts that don't enjoy Uh, that uh, level of sunlight or any climate or uh, you know water uh, so in such cases sometimes it's a necessity we don't need any particular certificate for getting into hydroponic uh, farming in fact uh, if you notice hydroponics itself is very very new to india it's barely 5 6 years old and the government is just starting to understand and take steps to promote these kind of sustainable technologies in india as the plants are fed with the exact nutrients required The plant grows at a rapid pace and production rate increases significantly. A major part of the process is done by automated systems, keeping the maintenance and labor charges very low. From a commercial perspective, um, hydroponics, uh, I think the initial setup is quite challenging. So we need to ensure that there is a um, there is a good element of climate management. There is a good element of irrigation and nutrition management, and then there are some standard operating procedures that we need to uh, focus on when set up. But once you set it up, the operations part of it is uh, uh, fairly uh, less complex and easy, because much of the heavy lifting is done by the automation and uh, all the other components that you pre-invested in. So um, it requires a very disciplined, standard operating approach. So you can also call this as industrial farming. So what you would do in a factory. you make sure that all the standard operating procedures are done and preventive maintenance is done that's how one would engage with hydroponics on a commercial scale our food is getting further away from us by the day and our food miles are continuously increasing the food itself that we eat is grown mainly for shelf life rather than taste nutrition and flavor so hydroponics is a blessing for us where we can mitigate most of these challenges we can grow food on demand much closer to home and much fresher and in much more hygienic nutritious uh, uh, way and um, if anything as we move this is going to gain more prominence in the coming years and it's probably going to uh, dominate uh, food production in certain segments of agriculture